Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Today we're going on a little bit of adventure. Me and my boy Nathan here are going to Spain on a fishing trip. Unfortunately, Tommy here has got school, so he can't go. And uh, mommy's gonna stay here with him. That makes daddy sad. I'm Okay. Love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey Nathan, you think you can carry that bag all by yourself? Show me how it's done, buddy. Bye. Thank you. We are going fishing. We're going to go after some trophy carp, big monster wild carp. And if we're lucky, we might be able to get some Wells catfish too. We're going to be fishing the Ebro River, maybe doing some camping uh, northwest of Barcelona. And it is dirt cheap right now. Uh, we were actually planning on going ice fishing in Michigan, but we looked at it and the cost of going to Spain for eight days was less than going ice fishing in Michigan for three days. So we're like, yeah, let's do it. So. But this will be kind of a, an adventure. This is the first time I'm taking just Nathan along on one of these trips. I took Tommy to Japan this summer, so I figure it's yeah, his turn now. Plus, Tommy's in school, so. That means nothing to me! Well, we made it here in one piece. We're gonna go get checked into the hotel and find something for Nathan here to eat. Yeah, look at this. Well, this will work, Nate. Look at this, Nate. That's for cleaning your butt. That's for cleaning your butt? Now we're gonna go get ourselves some food. Uh, we saw a place down there that sells rectangle pizza, and Nathan's very excited. And I want to see pizza rectangle. Should we get that one? It's yeah, just, let's yeah. just. Mm, yummy. You like that? Yeah. Kind of warm. Yeah, it's warm. And it, look, it's all frothy. It's got all these bubbles in it. Now we gotta go get some souvenirs. Uh, this is one of our few free evenings on this trip. So we gotta go get something for mom and Tommy, and I also wanna buy a Spanish kids book. Wow, I don't. Hey, you wanna go play on that playground? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. This is this would never fly in the US. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's a Cinderella pop-up book. Pop Big Bad Wolf and the Three Pigs. We have a tradition that every time we visit another country, we want like to buy kids' books in that country's language. <laughs> El Planeta del Terror. Oh. Let's pick somewhere to eat dinner. Look, this place has snails. I don't like to eat snails. Well, guys, it's 8 o'clock and we're heading out to dinner and uh, we're doing as the Spanish do because the Spanish are night owls. A lot of stores and restaurants stay open way later than they do in the U.S. And uh, lots of people take a siesta in the middle of the day. So it's kind of a late to bed, late to rise sort of culture. I might be down with that today. Hey, Nathan, you having fun? <laughs> Good. All right, here we are, Ibericas. It's a hummum store. They got little ham sandwiches there. That's that's ham. That's from a pig's leg. They age it and it gets tasty. It gets really, really tasty. Look at that. They got all the hams up there on the wall. You want, you want to take a bite? These little sandwiches are so good. It's, you know, fresh baguette. They rub a tomato on on the inside of the bread and uh, they put that, that ham in there. It's, it's good. There we go. That's 100 grams of ham right there. It's absolutely delicious. Amazing. It's all free range black pig that's fed on acorns. It's got a really strong flavor to it. It's aged 20 months. That was really good and really indulgent. Unfortunately, Nathan uh, did, didn't like it much. Might have to find him something else to eat. You want this apple? Yeah. Okay, we'll get you an apple. Just can't get over how many families are out this late at night. You know, I've been in places where they have hopping nightlife but it's all 20 and 30 somethings. You know, 
here's one-year-olds and two-year-olds and babies in strollers and it's uh it's past nathan's bedtime oh are you glad to be back at the hotel Well, it's the end of two very long days, but we have absolutely had a ball. And me and Nathan are just chilling here, unwinding and watching Spanish cartoons. Well, good morning, guys. We went to bed at 9.30 last night, and I didn't set an alarm. I figured just wake up whenever, and uh, it's quarter to 11. So we slept over 13 hours last night. Jeez. Well, breakfast didn't end so well. Poor little Nathan really is feeling sick because he blew chunks all over himself and the table. And uh, luckily dad's pretty ninja fast with a bowl, but uh, yeah, you're not feeling too well, are you? So we're just gonna go ahead and drive to our next location and see if a little car ride doesn't make him feel better. Maybe he'll get a little nap. Love you, buddy. You okay there, Nathan? You need to throw up? Poor little guy. I told him not to lick the handrail at immigration. Oh well. But remember, any problem you can solve with wet wipes is not a problem. Don't believe me? Just ask a parent with teenagers. You doing better, buddy? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> One thing that's a little freaky about driving in Spain is they use a white line to divide the two lanes. So the shoulder lane is white and the middle lane is white as well. And so it feels like I'm driving in oncoming traffic because, you know, it's all white lines and there's cars coming at me. <laughs> you know? The landscape here really reminds me of Utah and Arizona. Oh, there's the Ebro River right there. This is Ribaroya de Ibres, the red banks of the Ibro River. This is where we're going to be staying. All right, I think we're in the right place. Look at that. Well, all right, that's a little tight. Well, here we are in Riba de Roya, and we're going to go meet Nick, and we're going to be staying with him, and he's going to be our fishing guide here for the week. And so we're going to go check him out. Come on out, bud. Come on in, Nate. Come and say, say hola to everybody. Hola. <laughs> He's feeling a little under the weather that's here. All right. This is Harry. Hi, Harry. Harry just turned five. Oh, that's a grand age. Look at this, Nathan. It's like a castle. This is your room. We've got a heater in here hey. for you. Oh, this is my cuddle book right here. This is my cuddle book. Yeah, Harry oh. kindly donated some things. Well, Nathan has been having a great time with his new friend, Harry, here. No, they... not Harry. 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 Yeah. Harry. No, Harry, no. Harvey. Harry. No, Harvey. Harvey? No, Harvey. I'm hearing Harvey now. No, Harvey. Okay, Harvey. I don't know what's going on here. I'm, no. I'm, Harry and Nathan ran off and went playing somewhere, so they're having a ball. But look at this. Isn't this cool? Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous river? There are monsters in there. Big old cat, big old carp. We found a 100 treasure. Apparently, Harry is as much of a fan of the D. Almighty river hunting videos as Nate is, and so they've been walking the streets of Spain here, uh, street treasure hunting. So, and they've been very successful by their standards. Whoa, Oba, you found Look all of that? that? Look at that. Oh, is that a locust? Uh, yeah, no, it's dead. Hey, Nathan. Nathan, you, you remember when I told you we were reading about John the Baptist and how he yeah. eats locusts and honey? Yeah. This locusts. is locusts. This is what he eats. He eats locusts. He does Get out! I don't want to eat that. Tomorrow we're going to get up and go fishing. You excited, Nathan? Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, Nathan, did you have a good night's rest? Yeah. You ready to catch big fish? Mm-hmm. It's going to be exciting? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, we got the boys dressed and fed, and we're going to go out to a tackle shop and get our fishing licenses. Then we're going to start fishing, so I'm excited. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh, this catfish gear. Look at that. That's a buoy float. Yeah, those are PVA nuggets. The PVA mesh. This is big jumbo mesh. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got my fishing license and the boys didn't destroy the shop, so we got mission accomplished here. 
All right, guys, we've got to here stop at a grocery store, pick up some supplies, and I need a toothbrush. It's been four days. I lost it. I have no idea where it went. Look at that cart. You want an orange? Uh, this is how you buy fruit in Spain. You go number 26, that's oranges. Lay it on there. And then look at that. It prints off the sticker, and I guess we put it on the bag. All right. Next stop, going fishing. Look at this overlook, guys. This is the Ebro River here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look, there's a castle up on the hill. That water is so clear. I swear, if I had a pair of binoculars, I could pick out every fish in there. Oh, oh this is good. I found a bottle cap. That Nathan, I you still know. have the food in your cheek for breakfast. Are you gonna swallow that ever? I swear you didn't eat breakfast, you just stored it in your cheeks. <laughs> All right, big bag of homemade juicy fruit boilies. Something. Oh, that's a juicy fruit flavoring, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why the, the flavoring's in the boilies. Yeah. I just put a little bit on the outside of it as well, really center traction, especially in the winter time. Yeah. We got some serious gear here, look at this. By the way, if you guys are interested in coming here to Spain and doing this yourself, I'm gonna put Nick's uh, guide information in the description for this video. Oh, I got a little stringer there. Yeah, and it sits off it, sits off it like that. Now, that string right there, in case you don't know, it's PVA, which is water soluble like plastic made out of like cornstarch. When it hits fresh water, it dissolves. So all that string will just liquefy into a biodegradable cornstarch. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, see if you can find them. <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah. You warm? Yeah. Okay, I'll shut the door. Well, guys, we put in a pretty solid day here, but uh, the boys are wet and cold, and it's dinner time, so we're gonna we're gonna call it and get them uh, get them some dinner. We don't want to push too hard on our first day; or we'll burn them out. <laughs> Nathan, do you like this? Do you like eating dinner in front of the fire? Well guys, welcome to another beautiful morning and we're getting ready to go fishing. We're going to a different spot, a little further away today. And we're bringing the overnight gear. So, it's uh, we're, gonna, we're getting serious. Getting the bivy and bed chairs, sleeping bags, fishing gear, gotta get it all in there. This is the first time since I landed in Spain and we've seen any clouds. But it's supposed to be really nice today. It's supposed to be in the 60s. Well guys, we're headed to this fishing spot, which I don't know anything about other than it's upstream and about two hours away. We're excited, it's gonna be our first overnight trip. Well, we stopped in this little village here and there's a tackle shop that's open. We're gonna grab licenses for this county and uh, check out some gear too. That's a serious doorbell. Yeah, that's what I use for catfishing. Oh, look at this. Look, Nate, it's a catfish. Is there boats for baiting up? Oh, look at these. That's clonkers. So many things here I want to buy, and so very few things I can fit in my luggage. <laughs> Yo, pick up your fish. He's going to swim away. We're driving through fields of rosemary right now, and it just smells amazing. I don't know what it is about this spot, but it just screams big fish to me. Yep. He's on. Easy, easy, easy. Right, remember how I told you how to play it? <laughs> hey, Nathan. You want to come help? You want to help? Oh, yeah, that's that's yeah, oh, that's a big that's a good fat, Oh, that's a fat fish. Daddy, oh, I want to touch the fish. You want to touch the fish? Yeah. Look, he's a big boy. It says 37 and three quarters. I'll take that all day long. Oh, New personal best, 37. Oh, jeez, and three quarter. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, 
Right, should we get him back? Let's get him back. That's a beauty. Oh. 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 All right, Porky. Oh, Whoa. big boy. Up, He's some help. Yeah, I reckon. Oh. <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah. That was a huge fish, man. He hurt my back lifting that thing. But I'm gonna go cast this back out and we're gonna go get another one. I barely got our rods out. We had one hit um, that didn't hook up and then we just landed that fish and we haven't been here long at all. So uh, I think it's a good sign. I just, this place just has all sorts of good vibes about it. Luckily, I've got myself a good chair. Nathan's got plenty of mud and sand to play with. We can dig in for the long haul here. These are pig prints, wild pigs. That's a cat. That's, that's a kitty cat. That's the kitty cat print. When a wild pig comes down here, the wild pig falls into a hole. Nice. Here we go, buddy. You got a fish. Look what this is. Yes. Yeah, come here. You want to hold him? Yeah. Say cheese. cheese. This is a river chub. Okay, I've never caught one of these. So this is my new PB. Look at that. That's a beauty. My favorite thing about Spain so far is the ham sandwiches. This is all I've been eating for like <laughs> all week. It's been brilliant. <laughs> I'm fine in the That's probably another one. Oh, this is more substantial. No, it's a little it's a little carp. He's a baby carp. He's a baby carp? Yeah. All right, should we put him back? Yeah. You know, I'm actually filming two different videos for my two different YouTube channels right now. For my other channel, the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, I'll be posting just the fishing stuff, you know, with a lot more detailed explanations of what gear we're using and what we're doing. I'll put links in the description to both. All right, Nick's setting up the uh, the bivy, which is the the carp fishing tent. They they actually sell sleeping bags and and cots and tents specifically designed for carp fishing. Well, the sun is beginning to set on a very successful day, but we're not giving up. We're going to be fishing all night long. Nick's over there uh, cooking up a, a curry, which I have to confess I'm very excited about. Oh, that smells fantastic already. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Nick. This is great. Right? Well, sorry. Here, Shada, come on inside. Oh. Why come down? Oh. Oh, Mike. Oh. Hold on. Buddy, there was a beep on the line here. Wait. Oh, wait there. Get down. We're about ready to freshen up our bait before heading to bed and reel in the, the pellet rod. Use these for live bait for wells? Yep, they do. I bet they do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good. You think he'll be warm? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, buddy, why don't you lay down and go to sleep, okay? Well, it's the end of a great day, and uh, we're still fishing. I've got my alarms on and the rods in the water, and if something comes along and, and bites, it's going to wake me up, hopefully, and uh, I'm going to run out there and get it. So, uh, but anyway, for tonight, it's good night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. Sun just barely came up, and... Uh, I think there's a little roach or something on the end of this end of this line. There we go. Hey bud, do you have a good night's rest? Yeah. You warm? Yeah. You ready for some snake sausage? What the it's a snake. This is like the second time we've been eating snake recently. Oh man. Oh yeah, we're good. Um, we were sitting here in our tents last night, and you could hear wild pigs going crazy out there. It sounded like a couple piglets got eaten or something. It was, it was crazy, and there was foxes running up and down, and cranes and storks. Lots of wildlife here. I found your fish. Your fishy. Well, guys, this is a pretty nice way to watch your fishing rods. We're just sitting here in the, in the, the bivy. You can see right out the front door. There's our rod pod. Just hanging out, and if a fish bites, we're gonna be ready. All right, Nate. Come on, where you living? Careful. Oh, he's getting the bend on him. He's getting the bend on him? Oh ho! You did it, Nate! 
He just landed him. Good job, buddy. Well, Nathan, that is a chunky fish. Oh. Tommy's best is 36 and a half. Maybe you can beat Tommy's best here. Oh man, look at the hump on his yeah, back. Be a bit bigger than Quasimodo. Ugh. 35. 35 close. Right. Is I'm gonna kneel here and hold him and you're gonna help me to put your hands underneath him, okay? Put my, putting my hands underneath him. Uh, okay, they smile. Jeez. Jeez. Oh. oh. That's good. This came back. Right. Oh, 35 pounds. Look at that beast. Good, good job, buddy. High five. Back. Good. There you go. oh, that was awesome. Good job, Nate. Way to get your hand on a Spanish Ebro carp. Well, the sun's properly set and things have quieted down, so we're going to go back to the house and. Uh, uh, sleep in a bed tonight. You excited to go see your best friend? Yeah, I, got, I am excited to see my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, we watching the movie. We watching the movie. Look. Hey, buddy, wake up. Does that look good, Nathan? Yeah. Oh. Oh, so cold. yeah, there was ice on the car. Well, last night was bitterly cold, and I'm glad we didn't stay in the tents. But uh, the sun's coming out today. Looks like we're going to have a beautiful final day. <laughs> Excellent. Oh gosh, 32. Not bad. This is a lovely 32 pound carp, and he is getting all sorts of wiggly on me. Huge carp. Oh, oh should we put him back? Yeah, yeah. 32 pound carp. Look at that sucker. Nathan, do you want to stay here? Yeah, I want to stay here forever and stay one my mom is fresh. Well, it is a beautiful night. The moon is full and we are having a great time. But it's late and I need to get this boy to bed because we have a long flight tomorrow morning. Well, guys, it's early morning and it's time to head back to Virginia. Are you ready to see Mama? Yeah. this video don't forget to check out the outdoor boys youtube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this and don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every saturday morning and hit that bell button and you'll get notifications thanks for watching